Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I am in automotive sector for the last 17 years and I am doing audits related to IAT of 16949. I am again back with a very very interesting topic. What is the key difference between variable and attribute study as per MSA? So before going about that, let me first let you know a little bit about the meaning of variable and attribute data. When we talk about variable data, the intent is the data which is in quantitative in nature and which we can measure. Say for example, we are measuring a particular data maybe with the help of a particular scale and uh, we are having some value. It can be in terms of um, mm, it can be in terms of weight, it can be in terms of the temperature, pressure. So something which can be uh, measured that is generally called as a variable data. When we talk about attribute data, it is quantitative in nature, so qualitative in nature. So here the intent is that whether it is good or bad, something which we cannot measure but maybe based on our experience, based on how we feel it, sense it, we take a decision that whether it is right or wrong. Now to talk about what kind of different instruments that are being used in industry with respect to the variable data. So it can be one year, micrometer height gauge, CMM or it can be any other kind of instrument which can give a data. When we talk about attribute data, so here it is primarily about the five senses which we use to see that whether something is okay or not. It can be when we talk about five senses, it is our eyesight, it can be what we are hearing, what we are sensing, what we are feeling by touch or maybe it can be with the help of a gauge by using we can say that yes it is good or not good. Say for example, if I take this particular pen, so looking at this pen, we are seeing that yes, whether the color is black or not, or maybe something which is white, whether it is clear white or there is some dot in that, some mark in that, or in case we are checking some fitment here, so we are using a gauge, so by that we try to see that whether it is fulfilling to the requirement or not. So the answer is yes or no, that is all about attribute data. Now when we talk about uh, variable study and attribute study as per MSA, so in variable study what we are doing is that we are collecting a lot of data and based on that we are plotting and seeing whether it is complying to the requirement or not. <coughs> in attribute data, it is a finite data and means there is a limitation of the data and based on that data we are just trying to see that whether the operator is finding out the correct part or not the correct part. When we talk about variable data, the intent is to see that whether an inspector is able to identify the error or not based on the different values that person is correcting. When we talk about attribute data, here the intent is that whether the appraisee is able to find out that whether this particular component is defective or not. When we talk about variable data, the output is in the form of gauge RNR gauge repeatability and reproducibility where the certain target is there and on that basis we decide whether it is fulfilling the requirement or not. When we talk about attribute data study, so here we are talking about the kappa value and based on that we are taking a decision whether it is fulfilling to the requirement or not. Primarily variable data is about the measurement error which is generally related to the appraisal who is doing the testing. When we talk about variable data, it can be with respect to different things, say for example aesthetics. Uh, when we say aesthetics, say for example, let us take an example of this particular orange, say whether the color is as per that or not or maybe there are certain dots or certain marks are there, whether it is acceptable or not or in case we want to segregate the oranges based on the diameter, so we are using a certain gauge and based on that we are taking a call that which, uh, which is right and which is not right based on our specification. So all those things become a part of attribute data. Another important thing that comes out of the attribute study is that based on the data we can decide that where it is a type 1 error or type 2 error. When we say type 1 error, it is about the producer risk and when we talk about type 2 error, we are talking about the consumer risk. What are the present challenges that industry is facing with respect to the MSA study? So the first and the most important is in general whatever study that we are doing. If you see primarily we are just doing the study with respect to maybe micrometer, one year or height gauge. But if you look into the IAT of 16949, it is stating that all types of measurement systems should be covered in MSA which is specified in your control plan. Then the second point is whenever you are making a plan for conducting the MSA study, 
the key output that we get is the appraisal error, the error which is coming from the operator. But if you look at the plan that we are making for the MSU study, it is talking about the instrument, it is talking about the date, but it never talks about the appraisal who should be used for that particular study. And thirdly, and the most important thing is that whatever study that we are doing, whatever output that is coming, how much we are capable of analyzing it and the person who is conducting the study, whether that person is competent or not. So these are some of the key challenges that industry is facing with respect to variable and attribute study. So if I summarize everything, I talked about the meaning of variable data and attribute data, variable data which can be measured, which we can count. Attribute data is something which we cannot count. It is qualitative data wherein we can say that something is good or bad. Then I talked about the variable study as per MSA and attribute study as per MSA wherein the main difference is that in variable study we are talking, we are looking into the graph and we are trying to see that how much is the appraisal error that is coming with respect to the lot of data. In case of attribute study, we are trying to see that whether the appraisal is able to identify the number of defectives or not. My next video will be with respect to the key difference between calibration and validation. I am regularly getting a lot of feedback from your side and they are helping me to understand your expectations and I am trying to fulfill that. So do continue your feedback. In case you want to understand this particular video in much more detail, so in the below link you will find a blog and there you will find this thing in much more detail. And in case you think that you are liking these kind of videos and blogs, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and my website. Thank you.